Hello everyone. I am very thankful to each one of you for liking my videos and giving good remarks. Even though I know it very nicely that I barely deserve this compliments. Thank you for the encouragement. Uh, I got the request to kindly translate the Hindi version of uh, video tutorial of COVID dashboard into English. Before I start the tutorial, I just want to say one thing that even earlier ministry was collecting the COVID related data. Now they have widened the scope of data to be collected so that in case if the pandemic takes another shape in future, our panchayats are well equipped. Let's begin. In order to access COVID dashboard, you need to visit eGram Swaraj portal. You need to go to the URL egramswaraj.gov.in. On top right corner, you'll be able to see the link to COVID dashboard. You need to click there. Once you click there, it'll take you to the landing page of uh, COVID dashboard. In the landing page, you'll be able to see nine KPIs like how many GPs are there with village health and sanitation committee details, GP taking IEC activities, how much uh, work has been done in terms of uh, distribution of the isolation kits, what are the GPs with updated community preparedness checklist, GPs with list of high risk inhabitants, GPs conducting door to door surveillance, all sorts of reports you'll be able to see here. Once you scroll down further, you'll be able to see the photo gallery which are being also uploaded by the GP ID or block ID or district ID. Further scrolling down, you'll be able to see the user manual and you'll also be able to see the COVID dashboard templates. And then on the bottom left side, you'll be able to see national report, monitoring report, COVID pre prevention report and various types of reports. So let's begin first with the GP login. The credentials that you use for logging in to this COVID dashboard are the same as the one you use for logging in to your planning in Egram Suraj portal. The one that are being used for uploading the plans, the same credential you have to use for using this COVID dashboard entries. Once you log in, on the left side, top three details need to be filled one time for the first time when you start using the dashboard. Rest of the links you have to upload fortnightly. So let's begin with the first village health sanitation member details. From here, you can add the village health sanitation member details. Let's click on add. Now, in case you are entering the details of elected representative or the panchayat official, the data would be collected from the eGram Suraj portal database. If it is someone else, then you can click on other and you can put the name of the member. The age. Designation and then save it. Similarly, you can put details for other members as well. Next, you need to put the details of uh, the village health sanitation meeting details. When are the meetings being conducted? And in case you want to make a few changes in the names or mobile numbers of the VHSNC member, then you can go to manage and then edit it. So if I want to change this detail I can just click on edit and I can make the correction and save it let's see how we can put the meeting details we have to click on the meeting details you have to select the date 
you have to put down how many members attended you have to upload the minutes of the meeting from here you can select the file the file size should not be more than 2 MB you can also upload photograph of the meeting and then save it and freeze it next we have frontline worker details similarly you can click on add you can select whether you're talking about the front lines from Anganwari workers, ANM, ASHA worker, whosoever it is you can select from here you can put down the names here father name is optional husband name is optional you can select the gender put down the mobile number age whether both the doses of vaccination have been given or not yes or no you have to click and then click on save similarly you can make corrections if needed by clicking on manage coming to the volunteers now volunteers similarly have to click on add you have to click the select button and then select whether it is ncc nss nyk you have to put down the names of the college the volunteer belongs to name of the volunteer father's name is optional you can put it gender mobile number and age and then save it and similarly you can make corrections using the manage link moving on so first three these are one times in case some person changes or some mobile number changes or some data changes you can always go to manage and make the required details changes next we'll move to community mobilization here you have to select the date first these are very simple form it's a very simple form you just have to answer in yes or no and all the data that has been marked red asterisk are mandatory you need to just click on yes or no and then save it once you are sure that the data is correct you can click on freeze else you can leave it in save mode so that you can edit in future and once you are confirmed that yes my data is correct you can freeze it then we'll move to surveillance activities even here you need to select the date these are like uh, questions around uh, whether house to house survey has been done or not yes or no does the village health sanitation committee have a list of elderly people above 60 years of age 18 to 44 years of age 45 to 60 years of age is there are there any people who are with hypertension and diabetes so this is very simple yes and no you have to fill and you have to put down the answer to this number of villages who go out seasonally for search of employment how many people they go out for search of employment that you have to put here the last question is number of inward workers to work in this panchayat like uh, we had done in the last pandemic the villages were provided job through manrega or through our finance commission so we make a list how many people are ready to do such work and then once you are done you can save and freeze if the data is confirmed and final next form is covid prevention and mitigation you click here and then again you select the date the questions are like what were the sanitization activities uh, where the public places sanitized sanitizing for vector borne diseases how the biomedical waste is being disposed at gp level and all these things are pretty simple just you have to click on yes or no these are radio buttons you just need to put yes or no upload the photo of sanitization activities and that is optional but it is advisable that you put that so that uh, everybody can see your good work distribution of mass sanitizer being done or not eighth question captures the details of quarantine and isolation details whether quarantine isolation center is established in panchayat or not how many cases reported for quarantine and isolation what were the counts of male and what were the counts of females that numbers you have to put down here
then talking about next question talks about social security whether distribution of free ration was there does gram panchayat issue death certificate filling in this questions you can just save it and once the data is full and final correct then you can freeze it next form is of covid vaccination details you have to click here again you select the date the question is vaccination camps were organized or not yes or no if yes then you have to put the date from when to when you have to select the location then how many first doses were given to male female how many uh, vaccination second dose were given male count and female count and then you have to upload the photograph of vaccination camp and that is mandatory and similarly if you have given for various types of vaccines then each vaccine you have to select and put the data if more than one camp have been organized you can always click this plus button and update it save and freeze it coming to expenditure by panchayat here again we'll select the date expenditure by panchayat in covid management whether 15 finance funds would have been utilized yes or no if yes it will capture the data from the heads provided in e gram swaraj portal osr utilized or not if yes you'll have to put the data how much or uh, expenditure have been done previous fortnight total expenditure so far other sources yes or no similarly you have to put that detail and then save and freeze it now how many child have been orphaned due to this pandemic that details we are capturing I'll again select the date I'll write down the uh, whether info is shared with child welfare committee department of women and health development yes or no you have to write the name of the child father or mother's name gender age mobile number uh, death certificate issued yes or no legal heir certificate issued yes or no relief if pro some provided so if there more than one orphan child you can plus click on plus and then keep on adding the details then finally once the data is over you can save it and if it is completed you can freeze it so this is what you need to do from the gram panchayat login the forms that you need to fill up in fortnightly basis from gram panchayat id let's so let's see now how can we enter covid related data through block id you need to log in through your planning credentials you have to click on your panchayat dashboard you have to select the date and this simple form opens up just only one form you need to fill here like measures taken by block panchayat at block level whether any covid war room 24/7 help desk has been established at block panchayat level you have to click on yes or no and uh, rest of the questions are yes and no all the questions are yes and no and at the end of the question they have covered if there's any gp with best practices for combating covid pandemic then you have to mention it you have to select the gram panchayat name and then upload the file supporting the claims that it has done great job in combating covid pandemic and then once the data is done you have to save and freeze now let's see the district id here again you have to use your district credentials for planning once in login you'll see the covid dashboard and then you have to enter the data through panchayat dashboard you also have the monitoring report to see 
the various reports the questionnaire out here is completely the same that you fill in the block level here also all the questions are yes and no and then here also you capture which are the GP with best practices in combating COVID pandemic once you're done filling this data you can just save it if it is final you can freeze it so this is the data that you have to need to fill fortnightly from district level so that's it so very the only thing that we need to make sure is that whatever data we are filling it out here has to be correct because this data will be monitored at the PMO level also if needed thank you for watching the video stay safe stay protected thank you